so we've been on vacation and um, I'm actually still on vacation which is why the setup is probably not ideal but um, we have been to a couple of different locations uh, we started our trip in North Carolina where we got an Airbnb with some cousins and did a bunch of hiking it was awesome we were in Blowing Rock North Carolina which is a town that does not have a bookstore which is rude. So I didn't get to do anything there. But then we went down to Georgia where uh, there was an awesome bookstore that we went to. This is actually a used bookstore and it's owned by a residence for adults with disabilities. So they live on the residence and then they're also employed through the bookstore as well. And all the proceeds of the books that you buy there go toward this residence um, for the people who live there, which I just think is the coolest thing ever. So I'll show you some clips of that and then we'll sh we'll talk about what I got there. We we got so many great books there and the kids too actually the kids picked out some great books that they have been loving Especially Drennan has been loving his and Corey and I also got some awesome books I got this copy of Arabian Nights, which is a classic. I haven't ever read before they actually had a bunch of this edition of classics there and I had read most of them and I owned most of them already so I couldn't justify buying more copies of those books but I was tempted I got this copy of The Greatest Story Ever Told, which I have never heard of. Well, I think I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it, but how do you say no to a book that is the greatest story ever told? So this is a classic that I'll be reading really soon just because the title itself really intrigues me. And then I also got Pachinko, which is a book that I've looked into buying several times, but every time I look into it, it just looks like the subject matter is going to be a little bit too heavy for me. I typically love books that address some really heavy topics, but there are certain subject matters that I stay away from, and as far as I understand it, those subject matters come up a lot in this. So I've considered it so many times, and I've continually passed, but it was only $2, so I figured, okay, I can try this out, and if I end up quickly bailing because it's just not gonna work for me, then I've wasted $2. That feels like a reasonable risk. Corey got some really cool stuff. These are some infantry manuals from the 1800s. I'll just let him insert some photos that he's taken of some of the tutorials and instructions inside. He's had so much fun looking through this. And then this is an old history book from 1906. So he's had he's had fun flipping through that as well and seeing some so from Georgia, we drove down to Florida, and we're actually in Panama City, um, which is not, we're not really busy beach people, we're very quiet beach people, but his parents booked this place and they were like, hey, come. So we did, and it's been lovely, but we found this amazing area within driving distance that had this really cool bookstore called The Hidden Lantern, and uh, I guess I'll show you clips of that now.
it was this adorable little bookstore in this incredibly charming town or area I don't know if it's its own dedicated town but we loved it and we loved just walking around that area as well I got four books there we have Redemptor which is the sequel to Ray Bear, which is a book that I read last year and really enjoyed and I've been planning on reading the sequel really soon but I haven't actually bought the book yet and now I have so I'll be reading this soon. The Watchmaker of Phil Vilgri Street. So I uh, wanted to, I went into this bookstore hoping to find some books that I've never heard of that are not super common here on booktube that are like just something new for me to discover. It says he lived his life like clockwork until he met the watchmaker. In 1883, Faneuil returns home to his tiny London apartment to find a gold pocket watch on his pillow. Six months later, the mysterious timepiece saves his life, drawing him away from the blast that destroyed destroys Scotland Yard. At last, he goes in search of its maker. Kita Mori, a kind, lonely immigrant from Japan, although Mori seems harmless, a chain of unexplainable events soon suggests he must be hiding something. And then, you know, the description goes on. But that sounds really intriguing to me. Um, some of the blurbs were saying that it's relentlessly charming and deeply moving. So I don't know, I'm excited about it. It has a octopus or I like to think a kraken on the cover. So maybe it's a little bit nautical. I think it'll be fun to give it a go. And then the nest uh, showed up. I mean, it was always there. I showed up and it's such a pretty cover. So I had to check it out. Every family has its problems, but even among the most troubled, the Plum family stands out as spectacularly dysfunctional. There's a really long description. I'm not gonna read it all to you, but this author has written an epic family story that unfolds in a deeply personal way. Fast moving, writing uh, the, with writing that dares, dares you to keep up. Couldn't stop reading, blah, 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 blah. Awesome. I was looking specifically specifically for some literary fiction when I went to this bookstore, but oddly enough, this bookstore actually didn't have labels for its shelves. It had a fantasy and sci-fi shelf, it had a mystery and thriller shelf, and then it had a fiction section and just like all these genres, literary fiction, romance, historical fiction, were just all jumbled together in this chaotic large section. So I really wanted some, specifically some really thoughtful books and it was hard to tell what I was picking up at any given point. So these work for me. The final book I got, Blame Corey, is Peter Pan. He's found this really pretty copy of Peter Pan and I don't need more copies of Peter Pan, but I kind of sort of needed this. Anyway, those are some unique bookstores that I got to visit while I was not in my home area. I thought that you might like to see them as well. Both of the bookstores will be linked in the description of this video, so if you are in the area of either of them and you want to check them out, I recommend them both. I actually got to chat with the store owner of the one in Georgia for a while and she's lovely. Strongly recommend both of the bookstores and now I have a lot more books to put on my TBR. I hope you enjoyed this very quick come book shopping with me video. These are some videos that I really, really enjoy watching, so I hope you enjoyed it too. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on this channel. Thursdays on my other channel, which will be linked in the description, and soon to be Tuesdays on that channel as well, so lots of posting happening. I'll see you again soon. Bye.